Today's instructional goal is, students will be able to identify favorable outcomes of a given event. If we reference our key ideas from this week, we see four highlighted vocabulary terms. I'd like to draw your attention to favorable outcomes. Favorable outcome is the outcome of a specific event. We're going to practice finding some favorable outcomes in this lesson. For example, let's think about a group of marbles we see here. So let's assume these marbles are in a bag. If I want to choose a green marble, that's my event, choosing the green. If I want to think about favorable outcomes, those are the outcomes of that specific event. So in this case, I have one, two green marbles, so I have two favorable outcomes. I can pull one or, one or two of those green. Let's look at an example. Suppose I have a number cube. What are the possible outcomes of the number cube? What could happen? Well, I could roll a 1, a 2, 3, 4, 5, or a 6. So there are six possible outcomes. What are the favorable outcomes of rolling an even number? So my event is rolling an even number, and I want to know specifically what I need to roll, which will be my favorable outcome. To roll an even number, I could roll either a 2, a 4, or a 6. So there are three favorable outcomes to rolling an even number. Let's look at C. What are the favorable outcomes of rolling a number greater than 5? So if I look back at my possible outcomes, there are 6 up there, which ones of those are greater than 5? Well, there's only one. 6 would be the only favorable outcome in this situation. It's the only number that meets the criteria greater than 5. On your own. I'm going to read you this problem, and then I'd like you to pause and practice solving some favorable outcomes. So what you're going to do here, think about randomly choosing a letter from a hat that contains the letters A through K. First, start by listing out the possible outcomes. So what are they? Then B, what are the favorable outcomes of choosing a vowel? So reference what you came up with in A, and then select the outcomes which would produce a vowel, our event. When you finish writing your answer, resume play. So let's see what we came up with. So the possible outcomes include all the letters between A and K. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So there are 11 possible outcomes. For B, I want to know what are the favorable outcomes of choosing a vowel. Well, if I reference my answers in A, I see that there is A, E, and I. Now, I can't include O and U because they don't exist in my possible outcomes, although they are vowels. In this case, I can only reference my possible outcomes. Let's look at another example. Now, let's look at an example with counting outcomes. Reference the spinner to our left. If we spin the spinner, how many possible outcomes are there? How many things could it land on? There are six possible outcomes. Although there are only four colors, there are still six sections for me to land on, so I need to include all the individual pieces of red, so six total. How many ways can spinning red occur? So I want to again reference my spinner, six sections. Out of those six, three of them are red, so there's three different ways I could spin red. For C, I'm looking at how many ways can spinning not purple occur? Okay, well, not purple, so I want everything but, which would mean there are five ways to spin not purple. One, two, three, four, five. I want to list now my favorable outcomes of spinning not purple. So I should have five things here, because there are five ways to spin not purple. So I'll include all five. There are three reds, there's a blue, and there's a green. So five favorable outcomes, here are my five favorable outcomes, not spinning purple. Okay, I'd like, to try, I'd like you to try another problem on your own. So we're referencing the marbles on your screen. If you randomly choose a marble, A, tell me how many possible outcomes there are, B, how many ways can choosing blue occur, and C, how many ways can choosing not yellow occur, and then list those favorable outcomes for choosing not yellow. When you've come up with an answer, resume play to check. Okay, so for A, the total possible outcomes is eight. There are eight marbles. 
How many ways can choosing blue occur? Well, I look, my event is choosing blue. There are two blue marbles, so there are two ways choosing blue can occur. For C, how many ways can choosing not yellow occur? Well, out of my eight, five of them are not yellow, so there are five ways to choose not yellow. And then I want to list my favorable outcomes of choosing not yellow, so again, I need to list five things. What are those five things that produce not yellow? I have two blues, I have one green, a purple, and a red. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Now that we've practiced finding some favorable outcomes, I hope that's a little bit more clear.